Today, I'm going to show you how you can create calligraphy in Adobe Illustrator without actually developing the skill of calligraphy. So jumping right in, I found a tutorial by Jake Rainis. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And he mentions using the font Fract Fracture Majesculus. I'm not sure if that's a free font, but what we're going to do is live trace it. So first thing, grab it and paste it in Illustrator. After we have our font live trace and expanded, we're going to connect the letters and build the words that we want to use. I'm going to use Pixel Chomp and Design and Illustration for the two words. One thing to note, I put a dot between Design and Illustration and I copied over from one side to the other so that way we can have a repeating pattern because we are going to use these as patterns. After you have your text built out, select all of it and drag into the brushes tool. And from the pop-up, select Pattern Brush. And from the next pop-up, just click OK. So now we're going to build out some circles, and then for the stroke, select our new brush with the text that we created. And I did that again for the longer text as well. I decided to add a few outline circles just to add some more interest and breaks between all the fonts. So just keep repeating this until you get a design that you like. I kept copy pasting the text and scaling it down and then adjusting the stroke size accordingly to get the size that I wanted. And I kept repeating this until I got enough circles that I liked. I wanted the placement to look more organic, so I made sure to rotate the circles with text accordingly. Next, I created another circle and added a gradient to it. I changed the background to black just so I can get an idea of how this is going to look. After that, I kept copying the circles and arranging them accordingly to create the dimension that I wanted. And that's pretty much it as far as creating the calligraphy. The next step is to add some texture in Photoshop. So I saved this file and opened it in Photoshop. When I opened the file in Photoshop, I first cleaned up some of the layers by merging the text and the shadows, and then cropped the image so that way there's no negative space. After that, I built the file by adding some texture layers and noise. I made a copy of the decorative circles, blurred them a little bit, and changed the blending mode to linear dodge add, because I wanted them to glow and just give the image some more interest. After adding a few more texture layers, it was time to add one final layer of noise. I created a new layer, filled it with 50% gray, and added noise, and changed the blending mode to overlay. And that's all there really is to it. From this stage, you guys can experiment for yourselves by trying different shapes and patterns. If you got value out of this video, I would appreciate you giving it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. Also, I know I moved through this pretty quickly, so you guys let me know in the comments below if I should slow it down or if you like the pacing of these tutorials. Thanks for watching.